The topic today is mechanical bowel obstruction. Intestinal obstruction refers to anything that blocks movement of intestinal contents. The cause for the block may be extraluminal or intraluminal. The obstruction can cause a lot of pain in the area. Fluid and gases accumulate proximal to the obstruction, and this puts a lot of pressure on the wall of the intestine, causing distension. The accumulating gases are mainly composed of swallowed air, or nitrogen, because nitrogen is poorly absorbed from the intestinal lumen. Increased pressure on the intestinal wall will interrupt blood flow and possibly lead to ischemia and gangrenous changes that weaken the wall of the bowel, increasing risk for bowel perforation. A perforated bowel is a life-threatening condition because gut bacteria leak into the peritoneal cavity and a serious infection can develop. Most cases of obstruction are caused by adhesions. Other causes include neoplasms, Crohn's disease, gallstones, intussusception, hernias, and volvulus. In this video, we focus on intussusception, inguinal hernia, and volvulus. Portions of the intestine that are obstructed are highlighted in blue. Intussusception occurs when the intestinal wall folds in such a way that the intestine telescopes and a section of the bowel folds into the section immediately ahead of it. It consists of an intussusceptum, or donor loop, and an intussusceptiens, or receiving loop. Most cases are ileocolic, where a portion of the ileum telescopes into the large intestine. Intussusception is a medical emergency, requiring rapid attention to avoid bowel necrosis and potential bowel perforation. If intussusception is not treated, the telescoping of the bowel can cut off some of the blood supply to the bowel and lead to ischemia of intestinal mucosa. This ischemic mucosa can slough off and produce what's called a current jelly stool. This stool is a mixture of sloughed off mucosa, blood, and mucus and looks like current jelly. Intussusception is more common in children, especially young boys. Diagnosis may involve scans of the abdomen to locate the obstruction. When intussusception happens in children, the cause is generally unknown. Although the benefits of getting the rotavirus vaccine as a child outweigh the cons, the rotavirus vaccine has been correlated with intussusception in some studies. Risk factors for adults developing intussusception include bowel adhesions and intestinal tumors. Treatment for intussusception in children is usually an enema, which is using air or liquid to create pressure in the intestine to untelescope the intussusception. If enema fails, surgery is performed. In adults, treatment generally involves surgery and likely a resection of a portion of the bowel. Inguinal hernias are a bulging of the intestines through a weak spot in the abdominal wall or muscles. Inguinal ligament, the most common site of hernia, is found at either two passages called the inguinal canals that penetrate the lower abdominal wall on each side of the groin. Inguinal hernias are far more common in men because the protruding bowel segments can follow the spermatic cord, which also perforates the abdominal wall. In extreme cases, bowel segments can fold down into the scrotum. A volvulus occurs when part of the intestine twists over on itself like a kink in a garden hose. It is most often due to a birth defect, but can also develop in older adults with constipation. It is more common in older men. Surgery is required to correct the volvulus and remove any possible dead tissue. In summary, intestinal obstruction is anything that blocks the movement of intestinal contents in the digestive process. Causes of obstruction include adhesions, neoplasms, Crohn's disease, gallstones, intussusception, volvulus, and hernias. Intussusception is treated with an enema while volvulus and inguinal hernias are surgically treated. Intussusception is more common in young boys while inguinal hernias and volvulus are more common in adult men. Now for some questions. Please pause the video and think of your answers. 
If you answered the following, you are correct. Thanks for watching.